Another week, boys, and another twop. With the twist today, though, Bungie did drop their insights on returning to the moon today. There's a whole video on it on their channel, guys, if you want to check it out. But we're going to be going through it and breaking down what they talked about, as well as a few things that was hidden in the video. First up, though, guys, the twop. Iron Banner is returning next week with increased valor. Bungie states here that this competitive event will allow you to advance any Iron Banner quest steps you didn't finish earlier in the season. If you miss the first Iron Banner of Opulence, this is your chance to kick off the quest and earn that singular gear. Now the gear, guys, you really, really want it. If you're looking for some enhanced perks, this is a great way to get your hands on some. And believe me, the difference between like regular perks and enhanced is ginormous in some cases. But of course, the quest is annoying as hell. Bungie goes on to state that they did see some feedback on this quest and have some changes lined up, but they didn't make it in time for this Iron Banner. We'll give you the details before the next one starts up. So it looks like the quest is going to remain the same, at least for this Iron Banner. I'm probably going to go ahead and finish it out, but I will say it is an extremely annoying quest. Now Bungie states that this will be the last Iron Banner before we deploy an update to Lord of Wolves. As Luke mentioned last month, anyone who plays during these two Iron Banners will receive special triumph and emblems to commemorate that you were there when the wolves ran wild yeah i had a feeling guys that it was gonna be either late july or august before we see a sandbox change for lord of wolves it's actually a good chance that the next like really big sandbox change is going to be pushed out will be the sandbox change going into shadow keep and lord of wolves will be included in that sandbox change instead of them just pushing out a patch individually for lord of wolves so i'm saying august it may be middle of august now bungie goes on to state that as part of season of opulence guardians are paying homage to their previous adventures to earn awesome rewards some of us leverage and exploit in the tribute hall taking advantage of callus's generosity with some clever character switching shenanigans to place that free tribute over and over and over you get it this allows some players to skip the tribute experience entirely making other players who had done bounties and pledged large amounts of their resource reserves feeling a little hurt. They go on to state that they will be fixing this glitch on July 30th when they kick off Solstice of Heroes. So essentially guys, there was a cheese to bypass the tribute stuff. I kind of wish I would have done it. I know that it was something along the lines that you couldn't pick up bad juju, but unfortunately by the time I saw the video or the post on it, I'd already picked it up. So yeah, just know guys that that will be fixed July 30th. Now moving on, in regards to the Tribute Hall Triumphs and the exotic weapons that count toward bonus completion, Bungie states that in last week's blog, we clarified which weapons and armor from Menagerie contribute to Tribute Hall Triumphs. This week, we'd like to clarify which exotic weapons provide bonus progress. Legend of Acarus, Teraba, and Bad Juju. Bungie states that players should be aware that Truth does not count toward these triumphs, and neither does the quest version of Legend of Acarus. All right then, so it actually has to be a completed Legend of Acarus, Teraba, or Bad Juju, which is actually kind of interesting. I was expecting Anarchy to be included, but no guys, it's just Legend of Acarus, Teraba, and Bad Juju. Now that pretty much wraps up our entire TWAB. Now let's get into the Bungie Insight video today, where they talk about us going back to the moon which is kind of cool considering that the anniversary of us going to the moon is two days from now now obviously the moon is haunted that's what they're going for they're trying to go for a much creepier vibe than the last time we went to the moon which i'm completely down with but can we just hold up and take a look at these towers hot damn boys it's like oblivion all over again i hope somebody at bungie puts a sigil stone at least in one of these it doesn't even have to do anything. Make it like a lore piece, just for shits and giggles. But essentially the rundown is, was that Eris Morn was on the moon, tinkering around, and of course, messed with some stuff she wasn't supposed to mess with. Now, Eris is normally not the one to make a boo-boo, but she obviously did on this one. Now we don't really know who the bad guy is. Someone did point out this picture earlier, which showed like shadow guardians. For my lore people, let me know what that even is. Some people stated this could be Eris's old fire team, which would be even creepier right your old fire team coming back to life to kill your ass another creepy picture was this one now i'm not sure if this was like the Hellmouth, or maybe that's the entrance to crota might be the entrance to crota i don't know but look at all the creepy things in the air spooky man oh and yeah we got a purple rocket launcher here definitely looks like an exotic I mean, just look at the way it's glowing. Now, some other snapshots we saw. Jotun is gonna be a sparrow. Yes, you can ride the Jotun now. 
but right behind it, you can barely make it out, but that's actually Fighting Lion. We're gonna have a Fighting Lion Sparrow, which is even funnier than Yoden. Now, as you see here, there is a lot of places from the old moon, different locations that we've seen previously, but remastered, and these locations will actually allow us to enter them. So if you see things like this building here, we previously couldn't go inside of it, but now we'll be able to go inside of it. It has like a lost sector and stuff. And seeing the remastered version of the moon really makes me wanna see like what they can do with the old Cosmodrome. Like an old remastered version of that would be amazing. Now we see an LMG here. Looks pretty basic. I don't think there's anything about it that has like an exotic vibe to it. On his back though, does look like an auto rifle of some sort. And of course the hunter next to him is holding that hand cannon. It's got like the feathers on it. I'm pretty sure that's the one with the feathers on it. Looks nasty though, boys. Now in this last picture, we also have three guardians. Looks like Recluse is on the Warlock's back. The Titan, I believe that's Wave Splitter on his back, which by the way, is going to be available to everyone, right? Pretty sure September Wave Splitter is going to be allowed on all platforms. But look on the Hunter's back. Now, I don't know if this is like an ornament for Arbalus or if this is an entirely new weapon. Somebody in the comments, let me know what you may know. It definitely looks Looks like Arbalist, but it also looks a little too skinny to be Arbalist, right? Well, that's pretty much all I saw today, guys, in the Insight video. Let me know if I missed something, because I feel like I definitely did miss something. But those were the only things that were, like, jumping out to me. Now, again, as the weeks progress, Bungie's going to keep dropping content in regards to news for Shadowkeep. I'm honestly going to spend like the next two, three weeks trying to get as many of the build videos done for this sandbox and wrapping up whatever weapon reviews we have pretty much for the entirety of this past year. And then starting probably the first week of August, going into the second week, we're going to be covering as much Shadow Keep stuff as we possibly can because Bungie's going to keep dropping content. And I'm sure they're just going to lay it on us within the final few weeks of August. And then, of course, leading up to the release in September. So be looking out for that. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right. <laughs>